This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had an all-artifact Against Odds poll, and in the end, it was the crazy Mirrodin extra turn artifact time sifter coming out on top so this week we are adding to modern play a deck that i'm calling time sifter miracles basically a miracle deck but a miracle deck that is looking to go infinite with time sifter as essentially like a one card infinite turn spell so it's actually pretty sweet i'm pretty excited for this one time sifter when i started building a deck i was like eh, i don't know how this is gonna go is it actually gonna work but i'm pretty happy with how this one turned out so anyway a quick reminder before we break down time sifter miracles for modern if if you enjoyed this deck and you enjoy against the odds in general it would be amazing of you if you could take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free so let's talk time sifter miracle starting with time sifter itself so time sifter got a lot of text but what it boils down to is it's a five mana artifact that basically makes you play this weird game of war like the card game war every single turn so when you go to the upkeep each player is going to flip over the top card of their deck. Whichever one is the highest converted mana cost, that person gets to take an extra turn after the turn that's going on right then. Both of those cards get exiled. So obviously, there's a few different ways of trying to break time sifter you need expensive cards in your deck like that's number one if you have expensive cards in your deck you can just play time sifter hope you get lucky you hit a card that's more expensive than your opponent's card get an extra turn uh also putting things on top of your opponent's deck with low converted mana cost can be helpful i considered like a plow under deck trying to put lands on top of the opponent's deck uh, didn't actually come together the way i hoped but that is a possibility but our main plan apart from playing expensive cards is controlling the top of our own deck so because modern is such a cheap and efficient format if we can let's say put some expensive cards on top of our deck even like four mana cards we have a really good shot of taking an extra turn so the perfect combo piece for time sifter is jace the mind sculptor so what we're doing with jace is basically just brainstorming every turn so the idea of this deck is we get down time sifter we get down jace then we're gonna brainstorm with jace hopefully put a four five six mana card on on top of our deck which should be enough that when we go to our upkeep and time sifter triggers we should be winning that game of war that happens and then we get another turn then we brainstorm with jace put another expensive card on top of our deck do it again do it again do it again do it again just keep doing this and eventually win the game as we're taking essentially infinite turns while it is possible that we'll fizzle the construction of our deck means if we get a jace and a time sifter on the battlefield at once we should should just take all the turns and be able to win the game we also have some backup ways to control the top of our deck search for Skanta, super sweet occasionally we flip it around but it's mostly just a way that on our upkeep we can stack it so search resolves first and then we get to kind of control the top of our deck if we have a land on top we can mill it if we have an expensive card we keep it then time sifter triggers hopefully we win the game of war win the game by taking all those turns serum vision just scries to set up time sifter telling time lets us put a card on top of our deck also one in our hand so those are kind of the ways that we control the top of our deck as far as our expensive cards we are playing modern so it's not like we can just play six seven eight mana spells because the format's fast so we're kind of cheating a little bit apart from like our jaces and other four or five mana stuff our big expensive cards are terminus and temporal mastery which yes technically they're six mana seven mana but really since we can cast them for their one or two mana miracle cost they actually play a lot cheaper than they look plus they work well with search for his Kanta and telling time and jace so this is kind of the miracle part of the deck so we can use these uh, to wrath the board with terminus or just take an extra turn to develop our board in the early game with temporal mastery and then in the late 
late game, these are cards that essentially guarantee, unless we're up against like Tron or something that has weird expensive cards of their own, almost no decks in modern are going to win that game of war, the clashing time sifter thing, if we have a Terminus or Temporal Mastery on top of our deck. So in the late game, we're just brainstorming, putting Terminus on top of our deck, taking an extra turn, brainstorming, putting a Temporal Mastery on top of our deck, taking an extra turn with time sifter until we eventually use that to win the game. As far as closing out the game, we can win with Jace sometimes if we like brainstorm into Serum Visions and use those to set up the top of our deck, then we can take up Jace and maybe win that way. But our main win conditions, one copy of Teferi, pretty sweet in the deck because what we do is as we're taking infinite turns, we play Teferi, we draw some cards for a few turns, eventually we ultimate, and then as we're brainstorming with Jace to set up our Time Sifter, we just exile all of our opponent's permanents. We can also just beat our opponent down with Celestial Colonnade. Once we have down Jace and Time Sifter and are going through our extra turns loop, we don't really need to spend our mana on anything. We're basically just good. We're going to keep taking turns, so we can spend all of our mana activating Colonnade, hitting our opponent for four, take a turn with Time Sifter after brainstorming Jace, hit our opponent for four the next turn, and use that to just close out the game with damage. Otherwise, we have a few more just like utility cards. Cryptic Command is expensive, so it does work well with Time Sifter. Also, just a lot of flexibility. Can tap down the team of our opponent to keep us alive, can bounce something, can counter something. Logic Knot is a counter spell. Path to Exile, not great synergy with Time Sifter, but a necessary evil for staying alive. Detention Sphere, a little bit more expensive. Removal spell hits anything. In the mana base, we have a ton of ways to shuffle slash search our deck. So, Polluted Delta, Flood is Ran, Fetch Lands, Field of Ruin also does the same thing. These cards are more important in our deck than most decks because they do two things. First, if we're on the Brainstorm plan and eventually we get in a position where we just are overloaded with cheap things and we can't reliably win our Time Sifter flips, we can use a Fetch Land to just shuffle and reset things for our Brainstorming. Also, every time we get a land out of our deck with Polluted Delta, Flooded Strand, Field of Ruin, that's one less land in our deck and lands are essentially like auto loses when you're Time Siftering because it's the zero converted mana cost. So if the bonus has any non-land card, essentially, they're going to win, get the extra turn, and that is a big risk. You do not want your opponent to take extra turns with Time Sifter, uh, because then there's a good chance you'll lose the game if you're spending five mana to give your opponent extra turns. Otherwise, a couple of shock lands, some basic lands. In the sideboard, pretty straightforward stuff. Some Graveyard Hate, some Rule of Laws and Damping Spheres for Storm and Tron, Stony Silence for Affinity and Tron, Negates for Combo and Control matchups, a bunch of removal options, including some Sweet Miracles, Banishing Stroke Vanishment, look pretty weird, but they're essentially one mana removal spells, if we can Miracle them, that are also six mana, five mana, when we are going through our deck with Time Sifter trying to take extra turns. And that is Time Sifter Miracles for Standard, and that is our Against Odds deck for this week. So, I'm actually excited for this one. I know the deck looks somewhat like normal Miracles. Obviously, weighted heavily on the Miracles with Temporal Masteries and Terminuses, so it's not a super crazy build. But as I was building the deck, like I quickly realized Jason Mind Sculptor Time Sifter, that is the best combo and way to abuse Time Sifter. It's just like so good at what it does. And then, once you're playing those cards and you need expensive cards the miracles are pretty much like an obvious direction to go and then it, once you got the miracles you're like all right I need serum visions i need telling time so that's the direction that the deck was built in i didn't start off saying all right i'm gonna take blue white miracles and put time sifter in it i started off being like all right i gotta play jace with time sifter what works well with that the answer was miracles and i was like well what works well with miracles and it's telling times and serum visions which also work with time sifter and then once you've gone that far, you're just like, alright, Path to Exile, yes, Cryptic Command, yes, at the very sure. So that's kind of the direction the deck went, but I'm really excited for it. I think the combo is sweet. I think the deck is sweet. The miracles are sweet, so it should be a fun one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit with the wrap-up. Alright, against the odds time, seeing if we can take some extra turns with Time Sifter Miracles in Modern, and we got a lot of lands, but we have a Jace to put back this Terminus. I guess this is fine-ish. We are on the play. Opponent, Lane Line of Sanctity. All right, that's fine. Polluted Delta, go. Opponent, looks like they're bogglesing. Well, Terminus, good against boggles. Temple Garden, all right, there's Slippery Boggle. Well, grab a Hollowed Fountain. Opponent, 
passes. I'll play an island, pass the turn. Hopefully Jace put back Terminus is fast enough. Wooded foothills. Opponent cracks, down to 16. Hyena Umbra. Well, Terminus doesn't really care about that. Opponent gets in. Yep. Down to 17. Opponent passes. I'll play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Actually, let's Field of Ruin this Temple Garden. Grab a Plains. Opponent does have a Plains. Horizon Canopy. There's Daybreak Coronet. And another Boggle. I think we're going to be fast enough, though. We dropped to 12. Yep. Opponent's up to 20. So, play an island, play Jace, brainstorm with Jace, put back Temporal Mastery and Terminus, pass the turn, Core Spirit Dancer, Ethereal Armor draws a card, well the Terminus should still save us here, <laughs> so we take 10, down to 3, but we still have a Jace, and we Terminus away the board, so definitely Terminus, whew! Now we just need a time sifter and we can go to town. Get rid of the dorks. Now we get to brainstorm with Jace. Put back path. Put back temporal mastery. Play celestial colonnade. Pass the turn. So next turn we get an extra turn. Opponent cracks to draw a card. Windswept teeth. Opponent passes. All right, so now we temporal mastery. Get an extra turn. So flooded strand, crack flooded strand. Grab an island. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Jace, put back Island. Oh, all right, play Flooded Strand, crack Flooded Strand. Get a Plains, brainstorm with Jace. Put back Island, Temporal Mastery. Pass the turn, opponent untaps, tap land. Opponent passes, come on Time Sifter. All right, we get a turn. Our deck is doing what it wants to do, but we haven't found a Time Sifter yet. Play Search for his Kanta. Play Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin, the land. Brainstorm with Jace. Ugh. Put back land. Put back land. Go to our extra turn. Come on, Time Sifter! Mill Hollowed Fountain. Transform. Draw the land. Brainstorm. There's a Time Sifter. Land. Put back Detention Sphere. Should still be good enough to win. Play Time Sifter. Play Field of Ruin, pass the turn, and this is what we're trying to get to. So our opponent does get one turn here. So Time Sifter, reveal, Glade Cover Scout, we get Detention Sphere. So we get an extra turn after this one. So Cryptic Command, Bounce Ley Line, draw a card. All right, come on, Time Sifter. We do need some blind luck here. All right, we get the extra turn, now we should be good. So now we, as Kanta, Take Serum Visions, cast Serum Visions, Path to the bottom, Terminus to the top. Take up Jace, leave it on top, play Time Sifter number two. So our Terminus is going to beat our opponent's land. So now we get two extra turns after this one. <laughs> this is a dream, this is a dream. Actually, is two Time Sifters bad? So we win the first one for sure. Extra turn. Extra turn. So now we Serum Visions. Put on top, put on top. Take up Jace. Core Spirit Dancer to the bottom. Play Colonnade. Activate Colonnade. Get in with Colonnade. Opponent pass. All right, no search. Go to our extra turn. So we win the first one by exiling Jace. Then before the second one, we Telling Time. So take Telling Time. Put Terminus on top. So Time Sifter, we win that one. Take up Jace. Ranker, we'll leave that on top. Fire up Colonnade. Hit our opponent. We have a lot of turns in a row. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of losing count of how many we have. So extra turns, Time Sifter, we win the first one. Now let's just crack Polluted Delta. A pulse scoops it up! Too many turns! Time Sifter! We locked him! We locked him good! I think there was some clunkiness with how exactly I played that, but... But it definitely worked! That was exactly the idea of this deck and how we were hoping it would work. Bring in Blessed Alliance. Bring in Supreme Verdict. Go down Path to Exiles. Let's bring in Negate. Um... Alright, let's, uh, let's try it like that. Let's try it like that! Time Sifter! 
It the combo works. The combo works. We set it up. All right. On to game two. And we got our time sifters. All right. All right. All right. This is fine-ish. So flooded strand, crack it. Hollowed fountain, untapped. And certain visions. Island bottom, colonnade top. Pass the turn. Opponent. Wooded foils. Do they have a boggle? No boggle. Colonnade, go. Opponent cracks. Temple garden, tapped. Well, boggles with no boggles is pretty good. Gaddick Teague. Okay, that's a problem. Do we actually have any way to beat a Gaddick Teague? We took out all of our paths. We have a detention sphere. I guess that's what we gotta find is detention sphere. Spider Umbra. Okay. And Griff's Boon. Okay. Well, come on, Tally Time. Please find us detention sphere. All right, detention sphere. It's a combo. Back in business. Unless they have another Gaddick Teague. It's down to 13. Riot Arbor. Feel the Ruin. Detention Sphere. Get rid of Gaddick Teague. Definitely yes. Pass the turn. All right. All right. All right. We got a shot. We have a Cryptic. No more Gaddick Teagues. Windswept Teeth. Cracks it. Opponent. It's in for one. Sure. That's fine. And passes. Play Jace. Brainstorm with Jace. Ugh. Put back Terminus, put back Terminus. Pass the turn. Blade Cover Scout. I think we might be doing it. Opponent hits us down to 11. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, there's Terminus. Scoop time? Not scooping yet. All right, Terminus. Brainstorm with Jace. We really want to land. Well, all right, that's kind of a land. Put back Time Sifter. Put back Terminus. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Um... Uh, all right, I guess we go for it. So Terminus, no reveal. Shields down, Time Sifter. Take up Jace. Leave Boggle on top. Pass the turn. So we start our extra turns. We know we have a Time Sifter on top. So extra turn after this one. Opponent plays a land. So on our upkeep, we will Telling Time. So Mastery in hand, Banishing Stroke on top. Take an extra turn. Play the land. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Temporal Mastery and Terminus. Go to our extra turn. So Time Sifter. Exiles Terminus. We get an extra turn. We draw Temporal Mastery. Cast it. Even more extra turns. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Jace. Time Sifter. Play an island. Go to our extra turn. Exile. Get an extra turn. Fire up Colonnade. Go attacking. Take up Jace. Play Flooded Strand. Take an extra turn. Uh, yep. Raise a verge to get Jace. Play Colonnade. Serum Visions. Land to the bottom. Land to the bottom. Take up Jace. Ethereal Armor. That's fine. Fire up Colonnade. Combo. It's a combo. <laughs> it is most definitely a combo. Get in with Colonnade. Opponent down to nine. Might as well crack Flooded Strand. We don't know what's on top anyway. Telling time. Land to the ha hand, Jace to the top. Go to extra turn. Exile Jace. Get another extra turn. Jace beats Ethereal Armor. So fire up Colonnade. Go attacking. Play Polluted Delta. Crack Polluted Delta. Take the island. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Temporal Mastery, Time Sifter. Go to our extra turn. Uh, discard a Polluted Delta. Time Sifter. Gives us an extra turn. Gaddick Teague exiled. Sure. Temporal Mastery. Another extra turn. This is exactly how we imagined it. This is so perfect. Fire up Colonnade. Hit our opponent. Infinite turns. We're doing it. Time Sifter has been insane. Brainstorm with Jace. Uh, put back Jace Terminus. Go to our extra turn. Exile Terminus. Yup. That's another extra turn. Fire up our Colonnade. Go to combat, get in with Colonnade, and that is Time Sifter Miracles crushing Boggles. Oh my goodness. Woo! Uh, that was about as good as it could be. That was super impressive. All right, against the odds time, we are playing Time Sifter Miracles, and we're going to keep this and hope we draw Jace. Colonnade, go. Misty Rainforest, cracks it. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Inquisition, be Inquisition. Oh, oh god, Glistener. Uh, path please? Oh boy. Okay, dead, dead we are. Opponent, 
Overgrown Tomb, down to 15. Goes attacking. Blossoming defense, sure. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Are we literally dead? All right, five in fact. Oh, please give us a path. So, crack flooded strand. Grab a hollowed fountain. Tapped. Please, terminus. Flooded strand, go. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Opponent. Yeah, this is just a slow hand, and this is not a slow matchup. Gets in. Opponent's thinking about whether they should go for it. All right, decides no. Whew, staying alive. Well, crack flooded strand. Get an island. Terminus, time sifter. Polluted delta, go. Well, we'll see. Okay. I got, oh, opponent just wanted that in the graveyard? Huh, that's next level. Crack polluted delta. Grab an island. And yeah, we're just gonna cryptic tap. Time sifter. Okay, polluted delta. <laughs> <laughs> Play polluted delta. Pass the turn. Hope our opponent doesn't go for it. Opponent. I mean, they're going to go for it. Goes attacking. Blossoming defense. Yup. And death. Yup. Well, we stayed alive for a minute, even though our hand had zero cards. All right. Cheap removal, cheap removal. Blessed Alliance comes in. Maybe banishing stroke negates. Go down a temporal mastery. Go down one cryptic. Go down one telling time. And maybe we just go down to fairy and trust that Jace will take it home. Try it like that. All right, we get to play first. Ah, uh, okay. Negates. We got negates. Colonnade, go. Opponent. Urborg. And there goes a negate. Yep. Opponent passes. Well, Colonnade, go. Ink Moth. There goes our negate. Okay. I'll play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent has green mana. Phyrexian Crusader. Well, that seems like a fine Logic Knot target. So, Logic Knot Crusader. Come on, Jace. Time Sifter. Now, let's do this right now. Blow up Ink Moth. Grab an island. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Opponent passing. Flooded Strand. Oh, man. Oh, it's so risky. Oh, it's so risky. We need a Jace for the combo. Go Listener Elf. Well, counter draw. <laughs> There's our Terminus. Well, we're getting close to hard casting it. Play Colonnade. <laughs> Pass the turn. I don't think we can do it without getting a Jace. I don't think we can just run it out. In some matchups, I would be okay with just taking a chance, but this one is risky. Ugh, this Ink Moth is a problem. Opponent passes. Play the island. Pass the turn. Could be dead here. Huh. All right. I was not expecting Carrion Skull. This is modern! <laughs> not, not Scars Limited. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god, we're probably dead. To Carrion Call. I forgot that this was a card. I've never seen anyone cast it in modern. I... Guess it makes infect creatures at instant speed. Now I bet we're just dead. As crazy as that sounds. Wow. Okay. Phony gets a land. Pumps. Sure. I mean, we got no answers. If you got a pump spell, we're we're just we're just dead. Goes attacking. If they don't go for it, then we can terminus, and we're probably okay-ish. Okay. I think we're dead. Oh my goodness. No! Time sifter! Carrion call! What in the world? Hey! Hey, hey, hey. All right. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some Time Sifter Miracles in Modern. And this sounds fine. I mean, we have cantrips. We don't have a Time Sifter, but hopefully we find one. Ugh. Hopefully this is... Ugh. Looks like Storm. We have some okay sideboard cards for Storm, but in the main deck, we do not have a ton. Definitely Storm. Serum Visions. Opponent... One on top, and passes. All right, let's Serum Visions. Terminus bottom, Flooded Strand, bottom? Yeah, let's go bottom. Play the planes, pass the turn. Opponent, Desolate Lighthouse. Oh, opponent is not storming. All right, well, let's fire off Temporal Mastery, see what happens. If our opponent counters, they counter. Opponent remands. We'll play Colonnade, pass the turn. Flooded Strand for our opponent. Passes. Well, let's Serum Visions. Flooded Strand bottom. Serum Visions bottom. Play Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Who plays an island? All right, crack Polluted Delta. Grab an island. I'll play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. All right, opponent's gonna loot. We are going to blow up the loot house. Grab an island. Opponent ops. 
Steam Vents. Untapped. And passes. We'll play an island. Yeah, let's just pass. Lightning Bolt down to 16. Opponent untaps. Thing in the ice. Sure. That's fine. Well, path, thing in the ice. Opponent passes. We'll play an island. Play Jace. Alright. Well, let's logic not. Tick up Jace. Snapcaster to the bottom. Pass the turn. Hope we're not dead to through the breach. Polluted Delta. Instantly cracks it. Snapcaster for Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolts hits Jace. Lightning Bolts Jace. All right. Opponent passes. Well, let's Temporal Mastery, or attempt to. Resolves. Play Hollowed Fountain. Uh, dare we Time Sifter? It's just, it's 100% in the dark. It could be good, it could be bad, we could win, we could lose. I mean, I guess we can just attack? That probably makes more sense. Hit our opponent, down to nine. Hard cast mastery, take an extra turn. Play polluted delta, fire up colonnade, hit our opponent, down to five, pass the turn. Certain visions for our opponent. I mean, we're not getting 50, but opponent, Gets in, down to 12. Yep. Well, crack polluted delta. Take hollowed fountain, down to 11. Untap. Fire up colonnade. Play flooded strand. Go attacking. Hit our opponent to one. And pass the turn, see what happens. A braid, okay. Remands a braid, sure. Opponent, gets in. Well, pass snapcaster. Opponent passes. Fire up colonnade. A braid. And Lightning Bolt. Alright. Opponent survives. Scalding Tarn. Not crackable. Opponent passes. Well, we gotta stick with the plan. Fire up Colonnade. An opponent cracks the Scalding Tarn. Ritual Suicide. Alright, we got there. We got there. Bring in Negates. Maybe bring in Rest in Peace, since we don't really care about our graveyard. Go down Terminus. Go down One Path to Exile. And just... Yeah, let's just try it like that. See what happens. Um... All right. I mean, we got Serum Visions. We got tons of cantrips, so this is probably fine. Serum Visions for our opponent. Opponent passes. A Polluted Delta. Crack it. Grab an Island. Serum Visions. Path Bottom. Colonnade. Ugh. Top. Steam Vents. Untapped. Opponent passes. Well, Colonnade. Go. Opponent. Scalding Tarn. Cracks it. Gets an island, and passes. I'll play Colonnade, pass the turn. Opponent ops. Yep. Loot house. And Blood Moon. All right, that's annoying. Let's telling time. Take an island, flooded strand on top. So no white man at the moment. Play the island. Play search for his Kanta. Oh no, pass the turn. Opponent island. Well, let's telling time. So take Jace, temporal mastery on top. Untap. Temporal Mastery. Opponent counters. Play Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. Serum Visions for our opponent. And Thing in the Ice. Opponent passes. Well, play Jace. Tick up Jace. Hollowed Fountain to the bottom. Pass the turn. Opponent ops. Oh dear. Opt into. Are they just gonna flip it? Do they just have the full on one mana spell combo? Alright, not yet. Opponent passes. So we bounce thing in the ice. Play Serum Visions. Ooh, Planes is good. Put on bottom, put on top. Play the Planes. Play Rest in Peace. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. And passes. Vendillion Click. All right. So opponent gets to grab one of our cards. Well, Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Time Sifter and Time Sifter. Play Field of Ruin. I mean, we're going to go for it. Play Time Sifter. Pass the turn. So we would like this Jace to stick. Ugh, Snapcaster. So Jace is going to die. We are going to start getting extra turns. So, yep. Time Sifter beats Snapcaster. Opponent kills our Jace. Thing in the Ice. Okay. So Time Sifter should be whatever. Time Sifter beats Cryptic. Play Telling Time. Opponent has Dispel. Hmm. Play rest in peace. Hope we get lucky with our extra turn. Come on, Time Sifter. All right, Negate beats Lightning Bolt. That's good. I mean, I guess we Jace. Opponent's got one mana up. Yeah, I mean, play Jace. Resolves. 
brainstorm with Jace. Put back Temporal Mastery. Put back Time Sifter. Play Flooded Strand. If our opponent doesn't have Bolt, we might be able to combo. All right, Time Sifter. We beat Cryptic with Time Sifter. Temporal Mastery, no. So now we play Search for his Kanta. Play Polluted Delta. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Jace and Temporal Mastery. Take your extra turn. So yeah, Search for his Kanta. No mill. Temporal Mastery beats whatever our opponent has. Jace. So let's Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Jace. Put back Jace. Play Celestial Colonnade. Play Detention Sphere. Get rid of the Blood Moon. And Opposed Scoops it up! We did it! The combo! That is what we're trying to do. That is the combo. It's so easy. It's so good. It's actually effective. Like, we just go infinite. With Jace Unban, Time Sifter is surprisingly effective when you can just brainstorm every turn and play a lot of expensive stuff in your deck it is really easy to go infinite you got, don't gotta play 10 extra turn spells or 15 extra turn spells just jason time sifter gets the job done sweet all right uh, against the odds time playing some time sifter miracles and uh, two terminuses in hand i think we're just gonna mulligan this all right improvement one terminus and one temporal mastery in hand Ugh. all right we're gonna have to keep the jays our best way of winning this game i think is to hit our land drops into jace and put our miracles back on top of our deck bloodstained mire opponent passes colonnade go opponent cracks gets a watery grave so death shadow ops polluted delta cracks it blood grip untap down to 14 inquisition Ugh. well they probably take the path <laughs> oh it takes a certain visions all right come on lucky drawing oh boy time sifter we really wanted that certain visions pass the turn polluted delta prax it watery grave untap down to 11 snapcaster for inquisition well i mean we gotta just path we're gonna lose it anyway come on lands or things that find us lands yep it's a whiff Opponent passes. Oh dear. Six drop. Oh boy. I'll pass the turn. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent cracks. Team vents down to eight. Death Shadow. Oh, and we hit the terminus. Le oh my goodness. All right. Pass the turn. <laughs> this is about the worst our deck has ever looked. Opponent. Um. Okay. Opponent's already seen all this stuff a million times. Most expensive hand in the history of hands. Takes the Jays. Yep. Gets in for seven. So I guess we gotta draw... Oh boy. Is this team or battle, right? Lightning bolts themselves. Okay, that does it. And we will scoop it up. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a rough one. We just did not hit our land drops. So, opponent's playing Dish Shadow. Let's bring in <laughs> Banishing Stroke. Let's bring in Blessed Alliance. Go down logic knot and one temporal mastery and let's go supreme verdict for cryptic command and try it like that all right we are on the play and we just can't get away from having these miracle hands all right all right we'll try it well definitely keeping the land hollowed fountain pass the turn this isn't the worst hand we've ever had it's not great but better than last hand marsh flats cracks it Watery Grave, untap down to 17. Street Wraith, ooh, all right, no discard. We'll play Flooded Strand, pass the turn. Inquisition, oh, Thought Seize, boo! That actually takes a card. Well, take an island, play Telling Time. Land in hand, mastery on top. Hope for no stubborn denials. Take Scriptic, Marsh Flats, cracks it, Blood Crypt. All right, so we're gonna get an extra turn. Can we deal with the Death Shadow somehow? All right, so we hit Temporal Mastery. We take an extra turn. Play Colonnade. Flooded Strand, all right. Play Polluted Delta. Yeah, we really wanted to draw something we could cast there. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent gets in with the Death Shadow. Cracks. Grows the Death Shadow with Steam Vents. Down to 13. Young Pyromancer. So, I guess we're hoping Terminus, and also this requires our opponent not to have Stubborn Denial. Play Flooded Strand, pass the turn. So we can try to path, but 
probably gonna get hit by stubborn denial when it gets in and let's take it down to four path that shadow wow resolves okay all right cryptic opponent polluted delta inquisition makes a token that eh, doesn't do anything still gonna need to hit a terminus when it goes to combat well tap draw field of ruin opponent cracks island tassiger terminus serum visions i think that puts us to dead i guess we could hit yeah all right all right all right all right Ay, 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 ay. Eh, not the best showing for our deck. All right, uh, against the odds time, we are playing some Time Sifter Miracles in Modern, and this hand has what we want. It's a bit slow. If we get to the point of playing Jace and Brainstorming before we're dead, it could work. All right, so... Polluted Delta, go. Uh, Affinity. All right, so new plan. New plan involves hitting a Terminus and then proceeding to take all the turns. So crack this, grab a hollowed fountain. More Jaces. Eh, play the island, pass the turn. Come on, miracles, we need a miracle. Opponent, gonna get in for two. Yup, down to 17. And signal pest, colonnade. I'll play colonnade, pass the turn. It looks like we're gonna get to cast Jays and maybe find a terminus. Opponent, gonna get in for five. Yup. Still need this Terminus. Down to 12. Opponent. Vault Scourge. Terminus. Serum Visions. All right, play the planes. Play Jace. I guess we're not dead on board. Ooh, no Terminus. No Terminus. So put back a Time Sifter. Put back a Temporal Mastery. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gonna kill Jace. Hit us. Yup. Yup, down to seven, opponent passes. So we get an extra turn. We still have to find a Terminus. So play Flooded Strand, crack Flooded Strand, get an Island, Serum Visions, not a Terminus, bottom and bottom. Play Search for his Kanta. So we gotta hit Miracles or we're gonna be dead. So Search for his Kanta, Path. All right, so keep Path. I guess this is sort of an out. Play Jace, bounce a signal pest, play Flooded Strand, pass the turn, Blink Moth, Arcbound Ravager. All right, so opponent's gonna go attacking, attacks us, attacks us, attacks us. Opponent sacks, yup. Okay, this works. Path Vault Scourge, uh, Mountain. That can be the death of us. Down to four, search for his Kanta, Hmm. Mill Detention Sphere. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back a land. Put back a land. Crack Flooded Strand. Down to three. Serum Visions. Put on bottom. Put on top. Serum Visions. Put on bottom. Put on bottom. Play Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Fires up Blink Moth Nexus. Well, tap draw. Opponent passes. All right, deck, give us some luck. Search for his Kanta. Does Terminus even do it here? I think we mill Terminus, transform. We draw a path, brainstorm with Jace. Put back Time Sifter and Time Sifter. We're gonna have to wait. Play Field of Ruin, pass the turn. Oh, we are holding on by a thread. There's the blast. So cryptic, counter draw. Another Nexus, Cranial Plating, equips Cranial Plating, okay, opponent goes attacking, well, path, Signal Pest, so Signal Pest resolves, so let's Telling Time, uh, nothing, take Field of Ruin, Time Sifter on top, Crack Polluted Delta, take Hollowed Fountain, down to two, all right, untap, another Field of Ruin, Brainstorm with Jace, all right, there's Temporal Mastery, but we gotta full price it. Put back Time Sifter, Terminus. Kill Blink Moth, grab an Island. Play Field of Ruin, cast Temporal Mastery. Take a turn, Path Signal Pest. Man, we might be piecing this together. We draw Polluted Delta. So Brainstorm with Jace, put back the Fetch 
lands. Play Field of Ruin. Blow up Blink Moth. I guess we just got to pass. Pass the turn. Fire of Industry. Steel Overseer. That's fine. Let's Telling Time. Take Telling Time. Serum Vision's on top. Telling Time. Take Serum Vision's Temporal Mastery on top. Okay. Okay. We got a shot. We got a shot. Opponent's passing. So we start with an extra turn. Yup. Step one. Temporal Mastery. Now we Serum Vision. Bottom and bottom. Brainstorm with Jace. There's Time Sifter. Okay. Okay. That's what we wanted. Put back Jace. Put back Terminus. Play Time Sifter. Play Field of Ruin. Go to our extra turn. All right. So we exile, get an extra turn. I think we can combo from here. So play Teferi. Draw with Teferi. Brainstorm with Jace. We just got to not run out of cards. Put back Mastery. Put back Time Sifter. Play Colonnade. I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we just go infinite. Fire up our Colonnade. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. Go to our extra turn. Untap, untap. So we should win this. Yeah, we'll Temporal Mastery. Opponent revealed a land. All right, so now we just got to keep setting things up. So Brainstorm with Jace. Put back ugh, Terminus Jace. Fire up Colonnade. Play Colonnade. Get in with Colonnade. Steal Overseer in the deck. Go to our next turn. So Time Sifter. RJ's beats their Welding Jar. No reveal of Terminus. And I think we did it. I think we did it. This is how we drew it up. Fire up Colonnade. Fire up Colonnade. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Terminus, Terminus. Play Polluted Delta. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to five. Extra turn. Time Zifter. Terminus wins it. Over Welding Jar. No reveal. Fire up Colonnade. This is exactly how we had it planned. 100%. Fire up Colonnade. Hit our opponent. Down to zero. And that does it. That is, that is Time Sifter Miracles. We were living life on the edge and it pulled it out. Time Sifter, once we play it with a Jace out, we just can't lose. Pretty impressive. All right, for sideboarding, go down a Logic Knot. Go down a Cryptic. Bring in Supreme Verdict. Bring in the two Stony Silence, one Temporal Mastery, and try it like that. Huh. All right, we'll try this. Not insane, but we'll try it. Ink Moth and Volscourge. All right, play Island, Serum Visions. Land Bottom, I guess we'll keep Detention Sphere. Opponent, Darksteel Citadel, and their Steel Overseer. Ugh, don't have an answer for that yet. Opponent, gets it. Yep, down to 19. We'll play the planes, play Surge for Ascanta. Really want to flip a Terminus here at some point. Citadel. Ugh, Cranial Plating. Equips. Well, we're taking a big hit. Yup. Come on, Terminus. Terminus, Terminus. Opponent gets in. Down to 12. Search for Ascanta. Hmm. Yeah, let's Mill Field of Ruin. I'll play Polluted Delta. Crack Polluted Delta. Grab an Island. Detention Sphere. Get rid of Cranial Plating. Pass the turn. Springleaf Drum, Blink Moth Nexus, Ravager, are we just dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I think we're dead. Oh, Ravager, gets in, gets in. All right, come on, <laughs> come on, Marigold, come on, Terminus. Search for Ascanta, Millpath, Field of Ruin. Yeah, now we're just dead. Serum Visions, Oh, one card too deep. All right. Yup, 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 yup. Um, yeah. Run it back. Run it back. All right. We get to play first. And all right. I mean, not an insane hand, but we have pass. We have a little bit of cam tripping. So, Flooded Strand, go. Opponent, Citadel, Memnite, Mox Opal, and Overseer. All right. Crack Flooded Strand. Get a Hollowed Fountain. Untapped. And Path Overseer. Opponent gets their mountain and passes. Well, that's a good draw. Dony Silence. Pass the turn. This should buy us a bit of time. Opponent. And then eventually we get all the time as we sift the time. Down to 16. Sure. And passes. Land. All right. Play the planes. Pass the turn. 
Elvanic Blast down to 12. Ink Moth. Opponent. Goes attacking. Well, let's take it. Down to 11. Overseer. Let's just... Telling time. Let's take Path. Colonnade on top, planes to the bottom. Now we can path Overseer. Opponent's got no basics. So we untap. Now we Field of Ruin, Ink Moth. Grab an island. Play Colonnade, pass the turn. Opponent gets in with Mem Knight. Yep. Down to 10. Passes. Well, let's Telling Time. Try to hit our land drops. So take Polluted Delta. Put Temporal Mastery on top. Play Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Another blast down to six. That's a lot of blasts. Fires up, Blink Moth. Opponent goes attacking. Well, Path Mem Knight. Yep. Uh, down to five. Oh, if we get by, got by the last, by the last blast, I'm gonna be so sad. All right, extra turn. See what we draw. Oh man. All right. Risky, risky, risky. Time sifter. We are doing it in the dark. We could be losing. Come on, we need to win this. Time Sifter. Ooh, land versus Terminus. All right, extra turn. Come on, win this one. Win this one. Serum Vision versus land. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Play Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin the Blink Moth. Grab an island. Go to our extra turn. Now we just need a way to set it up so we stop doing this randomly. Uh, land versus Springleaf Drum. Terminus doesn't help. Uh, pass the turn. Oh, man. Not Time Sifter. Don't do this to us. Who gets the next turn? Ah! Oh! Land for Springleaf Drum again! Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Opponent finds a land. Oh, no. They find a Ravager. They can't be activated, though. They do get another turn. Oh, no. Time Sifter, no. All right. Time Sifter versus Wear Tear. So we finally win a turn. Opponent. Okay. Well, I mean, we are going to Colonnade. Kill Ravager. Off oh, we get blasted. Opponent passes. Come on, Time Zifter. Tie. We get the extra turn? Okay. Play Field of Ruin. We still don't have a way to set it up, though. Blow up Spire of Industry. Grab our planes. All right. Go to the extra turn. Time Zifter. Jace beats Spell Pierce. Okay. Get in with Colonnade. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is so much scarier when we don't have any ways of setting it up. Next turn. Time Zifter. All right. Oh, Etch Champion. All right. Oh, play Teferi. Draw a card. Yeah, go to the next turn. We're going to need to win this flip. There's still risk. We're at four. Time Sifter. All right. Jace beats Blink Moth. Opponents passing. Time Sifter. Come on, deck. Serum Visions beat Mox Opal. I think we're doing it. All right. Play Search for his Kanta. That ups our odds. Teferi. Let's get in with Colonnade. Go attacking. Now we should be able to use Search for his Kanta to go infinite. So go to our extra turn, untap a couple lands. So extra turn, we want Search to resolve first. We'll keep Time Sifter. No transform. Time Sifter will definitely win the flip. Draw with Teferi. Play the land. Crack the land. Get a Hollowed Fountain down to three. Play Serum Visions. Leave Cryptic on top. Temporal Mastery. Extra turn. So we have two extra turns in a row. Teferi, untap, untap. Search for his Kanta, leave Cryptic on top to win the flip. No transform. Extra turn. Draw with Teferi. Temporal Mastery. Stony Silence Part 2. Pass the turn. Untap two lands. Search for his Kanta. Come on, we need one more win. Leave Time Sifter on top. No transform. Extra turn. Ultimate Teferi. Play Colonnade. We just got to not time out. We got to not time out. Fire up Colonnade. What a ridiculous match, but we're doing it. The combo is working. Get in with Colonnade. Hit our opponent. Go to our extra turn. Search for his Kanta. Mill Flooded Strand. No transform. Do we win? We do. Teferi, exile the mountain. Fire up Colonnade. Hit our opponent. And I think we did it. I think we did it. We comboed him off. Time Sifter. Play the land. We might as well just do this to make sure. Telling time. Colonnade in hand. Telling time on top. Next turn. Search for his Kanta. No mill. No transform. Exile Darksteel Citadel. Fire up. Colonnade. Hit our opponent. Down to zero. Time Sifter Miracles. Com
combo. It's a combo. It's a combo. Taking down Affinity. And that's the dream. That's what we're trying to do. All the turds, all the turds. It's a one card combo. So what do we learn this week about Time Sifter Miracles in Modern? And first off the record. So technically, we played five matches. We won two of those. But if you ask me how many matches I thought that we won, it would be three. I really thought that we had won our first match against Boggles. Uh, it's a good example of why you should not get sick and take a lot of cough medicine and then record against the odds. You might kill yourself and actually think that your opponent scooped and then actually think that you won the match when you win the next game, even though the match wasn't actually over. So overall, regardless, regardless, we played five matches, thought we won three, actually won two. As far as games, we won five out of 11, which is like 45 point four five percent something like that so not an insane performance but the combo was way better than i thought it was going to be we did get run over by aggro decks a couple times death shadow also infect but in a lot of the matchups our deck functioned really well and i was amazingly surprised at how effective the combo of time sifter and jace is i think that it's actually like oddly game winning and good like that's all we needed to do if we play a jace and we play a time sifter suddenly we're like 90 percent or something to just take all the turns and figure out a way to do it that's all you gotta do and our support cards definitely help like search for Escano was very good serum visions telling time very helpful once we started taking infinite turns we didn't really have a problem closing out the game we didn't have a super fast plan but eventually colonnades would get there to fairy would do its stuff so the deck worked a lot better than i thought it would work and i'm mostly just stunned by how effective time sifter itself was like it is risky sometimes you play it and it goes poorly it's definitely risky to play it if you don't have a jace to go with it to set things up because then it's very easy for uh, you to lose a flip because sooner or later you're gonna hit a land your opponent's gonna have a non-land then they take a turn and if they can punish you during that turn and get in a big attack or a couple of big attacks or play Play a bunch of stuff it's very possible to lose the game but in our deck with the jaces with the certain visions and telling times in his contest we have a lot of ways to set it up we have enough expensive stuff that once we get the combo set up it's gonna keep going so overall <laughs> I was very happy with how the deck turned out. Our record wasn't absurd, but it was good enough. We were competitive with a lot of the decks, and we didn't get in as many matches as we do sometimes because once we start comboing, it's going to take a while because we are just taking turn after turn after turn and going through the motions until we eventually kill our opponent. So the good games are super long and super fun, and you take so many turns, it is just a blast. The bad games, like you get over run over by aggro sometimes, although I will say say it's not like we just auto scoop to aggro we do have the pass we do have some removal we have the terminuses so we definitely can beat a deck like death shadow when things go well or a deck like in fact if we can hit the terminus at the right time but there's a lot of variance involved and that's just how miracles work they're high variance cards so overall very impressed with the combo of jason time sifter pretty impressed with the deck overall it functioned a lot better than i thought when i heard time sifter one i was thinking oh man we might be in for a rough one but even not winning the match that we thought we won, the record was still pretty reasonable and the deck functioned surprisingly well. So anyway, that has been Time Sifter Miracles for Modern and that's been our Against Odds deck for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.